Okay, so first I wanted to ask, how did you first come to Citrus College and how long have you spent at Citrus College? I started attending Citrus College in the fall of 2009. I was actually still a high school senior. Okay. So I just wanted to get my, my feet in the water before I actually fully came as a full-time student. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been here ever since then. I started taking classes full-time in the fall of 2010 after I graduated from Claremont High. Okay. Awesome. So you've been here for four years? I mean, I, for when I was in high school, I took one class a semester. Okay. It wasn't full time. Oh, all right. So three years, well, give or take a few months or days. <laughs> okay. And next, I want to say because you're winning this award for a reason, and you are Woman of the Year. I know you have an extensive list of things and groups and clubs that you're a part of. If you could not hold anything back and just and tell me why people why you deserve this award and and. Um, uh, as thorough a description of the of what you've been involved in on campus because we want to honor you for these accomplishments. Well, most of the stuff that I've been involved in with school has been like the educational services that are offered here. Uh, I'm an SI leader for English 103, awesome. so I've been, you know, I, I take classes with students and I get to know a lot of the students. I've been an SI leader for about a year now. Um, I also work for tutorial services as a speech tutor and a uh, tutor for various psychology courses, uh, and I also work at the front desk for tutorial services. So I definitely get not just the, the students I tutor, but I'm also involved in you know making students feel welcome for you know encouraging them to come to tutorial services. Uh, I also work for the College Success Center, which works with English and Age students and ESL students. So I go to class with them. Oh wow! I, you know, I, How cool! It's another it's uh, tutoring service offered. And I also work for the Writing Cafe, which is done through the College Success Center. That's right. So it's one-on-one -on -one appointments and essays. So I do tutor classes, you know, varying from basic skills courses like English 98 or ESL courses, you know, students who are coming in, uh, just starting off as citrus to people, so students who are completing their last courses like English 93 or those who are just taking classes that need to be completed for like speech and psychology courses. And um, sometimes I also work for the testing center and I read and I scribe for students who need accommodations for testing. So I, I just work with a various group of students depending on what department of, I'm working for. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you you're, you must be very powerful in English. You know what's funny is a lot of people are surprised it's not my it's not my uh, major. I'm oh a, wow! I'm a psych major. But oh English, my gosh! English does come natural to me though. Wow. Math's not my cup of tea. I couldn't help anyone with that. But yeah, English has always been a strength of mine. And How I cool! Am a psych major. Awesome. And who do you, who would you give responsibility for where you are right now? And if you had a chance to thank them, um, who would you thank? Doesn't have to be somebody on campus. It would have to be my parents. Definitely, they are. They've encouraged me to keep moving forward and schooling, and they set a really good example for me. And I mean, sometimes when it feels overwhelming and you know just want to just sit and not do anything, they're always the ones that sit there and tell me to keep moving forward. And like I said, my my you know, my parents have always just been very encouraging and supportive in whatever I do. And they've always let me know that I can do it, even if, you know, as a student, it, you know, working and going to school feels overwhelming sometimes, but you do have your family, and I do have my parents there that have, are my, they're my backbone. Wow. Yeah. Really awesome. And if you could talk about, um, what are your long-term goals, and where do you see yourself after Citrus? Well, I'm attending the University of Laverne in the fall. Oh, congratulations. So, thank you. So I'm going to go there and get my bachelor's, hopefully within the next year. But I do plan on moving forward and getting my PhD. That's my ultimate goal in clinical psychology. Mm -hmm. I do want to be a clinical psychologist. So, uh, but I also do want to be a professor. Mm -hmm. So I want to do kind of How a little cool. bit of both. Yeah. I think I, I definitely have a lot of schooling left ahead of me. And I do plan on getting internships, pretty, hopefully within the next year, year or two. But ultimately working for my for myself and then also falling back on, you know, if I end my career being a professor, at least it's teaching something that I know I'm, you know, I'm good at teaching right now. I mean, t tutoring right now, the various subjects, it's honestly been the thing that's inspired me to become a professor. So I want to do that. That's so cool. I I was an um, I was never an SI leader, but I actually participated in a lot of SI while I was in chemistry and biology, and it was so helpful. 
and I'm a, I'm a mentor, I'm a Sigma mentor, so I can, I can help out specific students and we meet one-on-one, -on -one. Right. but I've always really, I've really looked up to the people who can actually handle an entire group, because it's a big effort. It you is. have to put in a lot of work to do that. That's how I got into the SI, or that's how I found out about the SI program, was taking biology, and I didn't think, oh. I didn't think that I was going to do good, but I got an A, that's why I was really, it's kind of a wow when someone said if I wanted to be an SI leader for English 103. That's deal. awesome. It's really awesome of you to give back after getting that from the SI and then wanting to step up and be an SI leader yourself because it can be really intimidating at first. Even just one on one is like, do they are they getting the most from their time with me? Can can I help them do better in their classes? Is their work with me going to reflect in their work? I hope. I hope it does. It's really awesome when you see students, especially in the students that I've helped out, when I see them helping out other students and yeah. we're in a group session and then they're teaching. That's what I, you know, I don't like to be, uh, I don't like to, for the students to be independent, I mean, dependent on me. I want them to see me as a, just a little, a little step in their own ladder. I always feel like students are just, we're all in one big puzzle, you know, fitting in giving each other clues and pieces, you know, put it all together. Yeah, it's so really awesome. I, like, I really like giving back, and I, I even found that when I work at, like, I'm working at Tutorial Services or College Success Center, if I'm struggling with something, I know people who I can go to, you know what I mean? I'm still taking classes. I'm not, just because I'm a tutor doesn't mean I'm the smartest person on campus. I still need help, too. Right. That's why I let students know, is that I go to my own coworkers and I ask them for help on looking at my essay or helping me, you know, enhance my knowledge in the class or if I'm struggling to do that. I think that's really great. You can still ask for help even if even if you are the one that's teaching. Oh definitely. No, I'm I'm always going to my own coworkers, you know, tutoring sessions too. I'm taking logic so that's not the oh, easiest wow. class. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So I have one more question, and I think it'd be really good for you. It's if you had a chance to talk to somebody on campus, a student who isn't doing so well in their classes, what would you say to them to encourage them to, to do better and, and maybe move on to, to doing, getting more involved in campus and getting better at what they do? I would say definitely utilize the free resources that are offered here at Citrus. I mean, it's a really big deal. I mean, I know my first year here, I was too timid and I was too quiet. To, I, I knew some areas I could have gotten help and I just didn't. I was too nervous, you know, to extend my hand and say, please help me. Mm -hmm. But once I started attending SI and tutorial services, I found how much of a help it can be. And it's also helpful in meeting other students too who you'll see that they're struggling in the same areas that you are. Maybe they know the things that you don't know and you know things that they don't know. And it's just, it's, it's just a good way to help and network with other people that are in the same classes as you or maybe going to take the same classes as you. But I definitely say utilize the resources and don't be afraid to ask for help. I think if I had I not, you know, been involved with one program, it would not have opened the door for another program. You know what I mean? And thankfully, I. The help, I've used the help I, I've received from other people in order to become a better tutor, become a better, you know, person to encourage other students, you know, work in the front desk. I see a lot of students that when I, they come into trail services, they're kind of hesitant to get the help that they need, but I will say, that it's okay, you're not the only one, there's plenty of other students, almost every student here struggles with something, so utilize the resources as much as they can, I would say. I think that's a really great point, too. I haven't heard that before. There are so many resources at Citrus College, and I think it's important for students to use that, but you can get a lot just from the other students who attend too. Yeah, and you can definitely. learn from each other. If you have problems, if somebody else has a problem with something, there's a good chance that someone else is having a problem oh, with it. Oh, of course, of course. And you'll see when you start going to the sessions more and more, it's not just you, you're not the only one. Yeah, I think that really helps. Well, I want to say congratulations again, Thank and you. really great work. Thank um, you. I'm excited to see you up there. Are you going to be here for awards? Oh yeah, I'm okay. going to be there. <laughs> really cool.